Good morning. Uh, new day, finally dry and warm. First Yay. time this year, I think. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's It's been pretty miserable weather here on the Isle of Wight uh, since we've got the van. So yeah, we finally have our first dry warm day. So we are going to cut a hole in the roof and fit our Max Air fan. Not scary at all today. No, not scary, not scary at, scary at day all. all. No, not, not scary at all. At all. It'll uh, be fine because we can always put it back, can't we? Yeah, always put it back. Yeah, just It'll be fine. Tape, Sticky tape. Yeah, tape it back in. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Um, so yeah, we need to get the Max Air fan in first because then we know where to put our solar panel. So we'll get our um, Unistrut rails up that we're going to hold those on with after that. We're quite lucky with the Movano bus because there is a very flat section, as you'll see in a bit, where the extractor fan can, where the Max Air fan can go. Yes, I think it's designed to have a skylight type mechanism. So it's actually designed with a lovely flat, almost flat piece of roof that's the right shape for a skylight so hopefully should be an easy fix yeah and even there's no ridges not no big sort of roof ridges no and even when the skylight's in the max air fans in even there is nowhere for water to pull so we'll show you that once we get up on top yep but uh yeah so we're going to go and unbox the fan now make the frame uh, that it's going to screw to on the inside and then we'll come back out and start marking up measuring up see where exactly where it's going to go see you in a bit bye bye so I've marked out the area to cut out for the max air fan on the roof as you can see with the Movano minibus we're quite lucky that even with the fan in um, all of the drainage is still completely usable we actually have quite a nice flat section to fit it into so we're going to cut that out i'll just double check the measurement now and then cut that out Now, though. No. Our bus is no longer a whole virgin. No. No. So it's no longer a whole blesser. It's, um, oh. Let's get the fan thing and see if it fits in. Yes, because this is the current sky. Anybody trust it not to rain? But it's yeah. okay. We wanted a swimming pool, not a van. It's fine. As long as no one opens the doors, we'll be good. Yeah, let's see if it fits. And if it does, then we'll. Uh, Get it all cleaned up. Making a frame uh, for holding the Max Air fan in. It's know where the base is up. It's there. Uh, so it's it's been cut to fit around this surface here. As I hold the outside and the inside of the Max Air fan frame on. So we're using this tool here to make sure that it's square. Um, so I'm just finished putting that together. So, give it all a rub around with a file. Make sure it's all nice and nice. And then I'm going to um, go over it with some colorite. And we should be good to go. So, I've got the base frame for the light in. Uh, I've just used this plastic scraper to clean off the excess mastic tape that came out. Uh, so we're now going to sicaflex all the way around the outside, sicaflex the heads of the screws, um, and that'll be completely watertight. And there you go, it actually fits in the hole, which is quite good, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's nice when a plan comes together. Back out, you alright? It's not going down far enough.
Is that because you had it inside, not outside? Okay, sorry. You get the screws. <clears throat> and you can't push it because you're pushing against the opening. Okay, so there is the finished uh, vent in the roof. Obviously, the wiring's not done yet, but she's in. She is sickerflexed all the way around the outside, and she is ready to go. I'll just show you. The outside. There she is, she's done. And then insulation next, all the way around. But yeah, it's not actually that difficult to do. I thought it would be harder watching the. We've watched a lot of videos on YouTube though. I thought it would be harder, but it isn't actually that difficult to do, so that was good. Uh, it lets in a decent amount of light which is good there's the um, inside plastic trim that'll be nicely hidden behind the well the ceiling will go under that won't it yeah ceiling will go, go in up to it the wood will obviously be disappeared yeah. Matt's rocking some very fetching pink bunny ears this afternoon oh, granddaughter thank you here. to our granddaughter uh, Obviously, when it's all wired in, that will happen electronically, I assume. Yes. Oh, cool. Okay. Brilliant.